Good morning. It is Tuesday, September 26th, and it is time for lunch with Lori for today's class. Um, we're going to be doing, I'm going to show you actually a few things that we made in my Creative Escape Craft Retreat um, over the weekend. So let me get my, my computer set up so I can see comments and see who's here and we'll get started. All right, here we go. On Saturday, my friend Sarah and I hosted a one-day craft retreat, um, and we have a lot of fun. We have um, make-and-take projects, we offer optional classes, and we also um, let everybody bring their own stuff, and they work on their own scrapbook pages or cards, or um, this weekend we had someone who brought their sewing machine, and they, and they crafted on their own. Um, and each time for our, our theme we choose a different theme each time and we pick a suite in the, either the annual catalog or one of the holiday minis or the spring occasions mini catalog and we showcase one of those suites um, this time we actually combined um, two matching stamp sets one from the um, annual catalog called inked and tiled and then um, which is a st let me move the cards i guess the stamp set, which is a very pretty stamp set, and it has two punches that coordinate with it. There's an X punch and a star punch. Um, so those coordinate, and then in the holiday mini catalog, the September to December mini catalog, there's a new stamp set called Medley Mix that also coordinates with that, um, with those two punches. So I'm gonna use a little bit of both today. I'm gonna show you all the projects that we made at our retreat. Um, so if you are local to St. Louis, you are welcome to join us for our next one, which I believe will be the end of January. Um, or if you're not local, we offer to-go anywhere in the United States. Um, and we have several who do the to-go option. Um, this particular time, we had um, a whole family, um, a mother, daughter, mother-in-law, and grandma who did the to-go option because the the youngest member of the family um, had a baby so that they could all be at home together with him and do their crafting. So here's three of the cards that we made um, for our make and takes. We usually have six to eight make and takes. Um, and this was using, they all, actually everyone received a package. Let me grab it. Of the Inked Botanical Designer Series paper, which is, you know, kind of a fall looking Pretty color, um, Clipso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Crushed Curry um, color family. Everybody received a package of that. They received a roll of Lost Lagoon ribbon. They received a whoop, package of Bloomin' Pearls. Like I talked about Bloomin' Pearls the other day, we, we gave everybody a package of those. And they also received um, not a whole roll, but a... Um, a few yards of the Clipso Coral trim. Um, we didn't um, give everybody a whole roll of that. They just had it nicely packaged in their container. All right, so the th these are three of the cards that we did. We used the punch with the designer series paper and we also punched one of the shapes and then stamped one of the other shapes. This is the distressed tile background on the in the back. We embossed the flowers and the leaves in white embossing powder and then built around that one for this. This Lost Lagoon color scheme is one of my favorites. Um, we always try to do one wild card, um, not necessarily wild, but the wild card that is completely different than the rest of the suite. Um, this one we actually brought in another word set from a different set, but we stamped this particular stamp from the Medley Mix like three times on their white strip and then punched those punched those out so it became more of a man card, a masculine card than what we had originally. Um, and then used the designer series paper to use to do the crushed curry accents. So the cards I'm gonna show you today are the one are uh, oh and then we always our signature thing for our creative escape is lint chocolate. Every if you ever come to our event, um, you can expect some chocolate after lunch. Um, and we made one of the new nested um, treat boxes and we we put lint truffles inside 
kind of it slides out. This one's empty because um, it was my sample. But if you were live with us, you would have gotten um, lint truffles in your box. All right, so our first card today is going to be a congratulations card. And it's designer series paper, um, and the other edition was the Stylish Shapes dies. So I'm gonna start with that. Um, the Magic of TV, I have everything cut for you, or for us, so you don't have to wait on me to do that. If you're here with me, say hello. Let me know where you're watching. Um, if you have this bundle, if you've thought about this bundle, um, anything like that, if you have any questions, let me know. I have a Lost Lagoon card base. It's four and a quarter by 11, um, scored in the middle. A petal pink panel that will be the background. Um, I'm using a different background paper than it's on my sample, um, just to mix it up a little bit. And then we have a Lost Lagoon Stylish Shapes Circle and Stylish Shapes Banner. And then I went ahead and I die cut um, a piece of designer series paper that matches. Um, with the petal pink in the Lost Lagoon. Um, these could easily be punched with a punch, but it, if you can see the detail, the stylish shapes, um, stitches around the edges so you can actually have a little bit of depth and pattern around the edge. All right, let me get started. This particular, I'm going to use the congratulations, and this is from the Medley Mix stamp. Um, and we're going to hope that I get this right on the first try because I don't have an extra piece handy. So wish me luck. Let's get it a little closer so I can actually see it. All right, whew, thank goodness. All right, so I've got congratulations. And that's the, the sentiment. And then we can start building. And each pattern in this one has a has a great background also. Last night I held my card club and we had a little bit of an issue um, because we were supposed to do autumn leaves the suite this month for card club and it wasn't available. So I we did a little switching and on Thursday I will actually show you the cards that we made this month in my card club and I'm gonna talk a little bit about card club and how you can join because in October we will be doing um, the autumn leaves suite. So if you like making card, you can make them local with us. Um, our next card club will be Monday, October 16th. And if you are not local, you are welcome to join. Um, I can I will share that link link on um, on Thursday, and the deadline to join is October. October 1st, so that'll be coming up soon. Um, so I will share that with you on Thursday so that we're ready to go. Or you're ready to go and you can get the, I forgot to add the ribbon. Um, the Lost Lagoon ribbon that everybody got a roll of, we, um, we use that on most of the projects. And I should have done this beforehand before I put those dimensionals on. I don't have anybody here saying, hey, Bozo, you went too quick. All right, I find, and I think I talked about this the other day, the easiest for me when I'm going to um, just wrap a ribbon around a panel is to just scotch tape it on the back and then wrap it around. Actually, I wasn't sure how long that needed to be. Cut that off. I'm uh, moving this around. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. All right. I wrap it around and then put the other piece of scotch tape on and that helps it to stay put. I think it stays easier than if we have, um, if I use stamp and seal or liquid glue. All right, so we've got that part. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this pattern. I am a huge polka dot fan. I love this pattern on the back that's the polka dots. Unfortunately, it does not go with my color scheme for this card. So. I'm not using it for this one. This could easily be switched around to any of the other patterns that you have, um, and it would be just as cute. All right, put some dimensionals. I 
class last night and I had to clean up a whole bunch of dimensional backs off of the floor today. Okay. And we have that part. Now this is a little trickier because we're going to put part of it on the piece that's already here. So we're gonna just put a small dimensional on the left side and then put adhesive on the right side so that it will stick to the circle. Just like that. And that, oh, I guess I should put the inside panel on because when you have a darker colored card, it is hard to see the writing once you do that. So you could always decorate your inside panel the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that today. All right, then last step would be to decorate with my favorite, the Bloomin' Pearls. I'm gonna use small ones this time. Oop. The Take Your Pick tool is perfect for picking up small gems and embellishments. I'm pretty sure those were not the same size. I decided to use the petal pink ones just because. All right, there is your first congratulations card. All right, next card, I'm gonna teach you another little technique called huffing. If you, not to be confused with drugs or anything like that, we are going to stamp directly on the designer series paper for this one. Um, we have two pieces of designer series paper with the card base. Grab that. All right, so for this one, I actually markered, markered the flowers. You can color the red cling stamps, but you cannot color um, the photopolymer stamps, those don't work properly when you do that. All right, so let me grab my markers here. All right, so we're gonna take the Calypso Coral um, Stampin' Right marker and we're just going to color the flower all the way across like this. Do the other flower. And you'll notice that it starts to dry a little bit. And that's okay, that's okay. Just make sure you've got the whole flower covered. And then I'm gonna take my Lost Lagoon marker. Same thing, the Stampin' Right marker. Um, Stampin' Blends do not work for this because of the alcohol. Um, it has to be the actual Stampin' Right markers. And I can also tell you that a Sharpie is not the appropriate tool. I had someone borrow my stamp at one of our retreats, because we have items that people can borrow. And she used a marker that was not appropriate and it ruined my stamp. All right, so now that it's a little bit dry, you can't see me, but I'm actually going to huff on it. I'm gonna breathe so the, and the dampness from your breath will actually re-wet the ink. So, you can probably hear me heavy breathing. And then you're just gonna stamp it on your designer series paper. Just like that. And you have the flower and the stems that are different colors. Kind of a cool, cool thing to be able to do. All right, then we're gonna take the pool party and we're gonna stamp that other leaf. This is just a lighter ink. We're gonna stamp that right over the top of it because it's a lighter color, it'll look a little different. On Saturday, I had someone who dropped their ink pad with the pool party ink, and they just had two sets of leaves, and it looked just fine. And then we're gonna assemble. I'm gonna start with the floral. We just took two coordinating patterns with the coral and the crushed curry. You could really use any of the coordinating patterns. It doesn't necessarily 
have to matter. And I'm a huge fan of cattywampus. I don't know if you are, if you like your layers to be straight. All right, so I've got one cattywampus layer. And then I'll put on the second one. Just like that. And there's no right or wrong to how you place that. It's just a little off center so that you can see that background piece. All right, so then we just need a strip of very vanilla and we're gonna stamp happy birthday and punch it out. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the star punch. That way you can get it centered in there. Actually, I'm going to go a little high. And that way I can put some gems on the bottom of that. All right, now this one, I used the coral trim. And I think we talked about this before. I'm not a good bow tire. So I literally just wrapped some of the trim around my finger like that, cut it off, and then I tape it on the back, just like that. Super simple, much easier than tying an actual bow because, you know, I'm not a bow tire. I'm trying, All right? And there you have it. It looks like you tied a bow, but it is just wrapped and taped on the back. And then we'll put some dimensionals underneath there. And the dimensionals will help hold that up so the views regular adhesive, those, the ribbon would be too thick and your, your little sentiment piece would pop off. Do you have any questions? Is there anything you, you wonder that I'm doing here. And then I'm gonna put the word straight so I have to hold the card up so I can actually tell which would be straight. And then I'm gonna take the gems. The Bloom and Pearls, the green actually matches. Um, so I'm gonna use that. And then if you do our retreats to go, you can um, receive all of these things. You just need, the only thing you would need are your stamp set and your ink that you could do these at home. All right, so there's card number two. All right, last one that I have for you today is a happy birthday set because everybody needs happy birthday cards. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to attach, this is a piece of vellum on a piece of cardstock and it softens the look of the cardstock. Cause this is what the cardstock actually looks like. And this is, well, thank you. I appreciate that, Jude. All right, so we so the, the vellum softens the look, but as you know, if we put adhesive on the back of our vellum, it's going to show. So to keep it from showing, I'm gonna take the piece of vellum that's cut exactly the same size as the, um, well, Iowa, how's the weather in Iowa? I always wonder how the weather is other places that I'm, I'm not, we, I'm in St. Louis, and everything is nice and sunny and warm today. I think we're finally, um, about to get fall, but not yet. Our son has a soccer game this afternoon, and I'd really like to think that it's going to be cooler, but I don't think it is. All right, I'm going to show you how to apply the vellum so that it sticks, but it doesn't show, show the pattern. I have a silicone mat. Silicone mat right here. And what I'm going to do is take a little bit of ink, ink, oh my goodness, I've got my, I looked at my ink pad laying right here and I said ink. All right, just a little bit of the Tombow liquid glue, just like that. It's not a huge amount, but, but it's enough. And then I'm gonna take my sponge 
and I'm gonna dip that. Just rub that on my sponge. Hopefully I have enough. Then I'm gonna take my vellum. You know what, I'm gonna put, I'm actually gonna leave that on here so you can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna dab that glue on there. And I did not get enough. I would start with a smaller amount because you don't want a huge glob of glue on your silicone mat. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. And then, and you don't have to cover the whole thing. And I'm not sure that you can see the little bit of shine from the glue. And then we're gonna take, we're gonna take that vellum and lay it directly onto our piece of designer series paper. And we're gonna push it down. And there's enough glue there that it will hold it on there and it won't come off and you've got your pattern. All right, so then the next piece is to glue this panel onto the crushed curry panel. Again, the polka dots, my favorite. I've always been a polka dot fan. So if there's a stripe or a polka dot designer series paper, you can bet that I'll be using it. All right, so then I'm going to tie a ribbon, the Lost Lagoon ribbon. Right around and tie a knot because, you know, why would I tie a bow if I don't need to? Actually, this ribbon's a little bit thicker, so Tying a knot is plenty. Plenty substantial. Or at least I think so. That's my excuse. My scissors are not sharp enough to trim that later. All right, so I've got the bow. Then I'm gonna take my strip of vanilla again and I'm gonna stamp happy birthday, but this one is from the Mixed Medley, so it's a little bit different than the, than the happy birthday that we already made. And if you, we're gonna use the dual scallop punch. Um, I've already punched this piece, so it's ready, and then we just need to slide in. If you have if you've got a punch like this and you have a strip, it's easiest to slide it in from the side. You don't wanna go like this because then that doesn't fit. So, hey Diane, I miss seeing your face around here. All right, so here's the happy birthday. I'm glad you could join us for lunch today. I'm gonna attach that to the double scallop, or the oval, oval scallop, I guess. Scalloped oval, there we go. If you follow me very long, you realize that sometimes my wording is not exactly what it's supposed to be. I'm still, it's not straight. But the goal is to have fun. So, hey Jennifer, hi Sherry. Thanks ladies for joining us today. All right, so there's the happy birthday. All right, we're gonna put this on with dimensionals, just to pop it up, give it a little more dimension. And then I actually did the whole panel on dimensionals, and since this is, because it has this ribbon wrapped around, since it's a whole panel, I'm gonna use the regular size dimensionals, not the mini ones. My table when I'm done. And my card base is very vanilla on this one, so I'm just going to put it on there and I don't need a panel on the inside because you can see, see from the vanilla. All right, so I've got that. And for this one, I'm going to use the gold Bloomin' Pearls, just a couple of them. said the other day I overthink things way too much so I'm just gonna go ahead and just put them on here 
willy-nilly. And there you have it. But the one extra thing I'm gonna do for this, this piece is three and three quarters by five. Grab another piece. So when you cut it three and three quarters, you cut, cut a panel like this and then this. This leaves two and a quarter inches on the side, either the right or the left, whichever side that you cut from. And two and a quarter inches is absolutely perfect for covering your envelope flap. Except I just, oh here it is. So we're gonna make an envelope flap to cover, to make it just a little prettier. Oops, do the right end. So I'm gonna put the liquid glue, not a ton because it's kind of wet. And we're gonna put that right up against the flap where it comes down. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dimensional back has been stuck. Ooh, saved it. Right at the flap where it folds down. Obviously that's not <clears throat> good enough. And we're just gonna take the scissors and trim around the edge. We used to have envelope dies that would cut designer series paper to match the envelope flap, but we don't have those anymore, but good old scissors works perfectly. And you have a flap on your envelope that matches your card. I think that's such an extra a great thing that, that's the addition to your cards. All right, so there's that card, that one, and the other one that we made today is this one. Um, I do so appreciate all of you watching today. I hope that you, you know, I like how we combine things from the annual catalog with the with the mini catalog, um, and how you know how my retreats work a little bit. Um, today's class is free. All of you are watching for free. If you would like to get the card kits for these, um, you can place a $35 order on my website and I'm, I will be posting the link for that. Um, you, you would need to do that by Friday. Um, and if you place a $50 order, I will send you the card kits plus a package of Bloom and Pearls because you would need those for your embellishment. And right now I am almost, I can, I can, almost pack my bags to go to Mexico for the next Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So if you place a $100 order, um, I will, um, for this for this special this week, I am offering, um, if you place a $100 order, you would get your card kits and $20 um, in free merchandise. So it is, that's actually better than $150 um, with $15 for the hostess rewards right now. So I will post the link for that. And if you place your order by Friday, I will send you these cards along with, um, along with your bloom and pearls, or if you pick your $20, then I will take care of that as well. Um, thank you for joining me on Thursday. I will go live again. Um, I have a card class in the morning, so I won't be able to join until 1 p.m. on Thursday. And we'll be looking at actually my card club from September and what we used so that we can talk about what's coming up in October. Um, also, tonight at 7.30 p.m. Central Time, I am running a flash buy one, get one sale. I had my buy one, get one stuff at my retreat on Saturday. And I have so much stuff still left. So before I pack it away in the basement one last time, I'm gonna have those things out and I'm just gonna show them. I won't be posting them, I'm just gonna have them. I'm gonna have my, okay, here's my Calypso Coral ink pad, which is not for sale right now, by the way. But my Calypso Coral ink pad is this much. If you're interested, you'll just comment in the comments and then you will pick out new stuff, an equivalent amount in the new catalog and then I will ship you the old stuff, um, my retired stuff. The only thing that you would pay on that is is shipping. So, um, so tonight at 7.30, you can join me back here. Um, I thank you for watching me um, today with Lunch with Lori, and I will see you all either tonight or on Thursday. Have a great day.